Uh oh, what's going on here? See, anytime you see that a video start like that, it's not gonna. Oh boy, that guy right there, he's not gonna. He's not coming back. He's not gonna be in the video anymore. In fact, he's not gonna make it to the final game. Okay, not having it in Game Caviar Studio. I got a new game. Uh, demo actually, Dragon's Dogma, a game coming from Capcom. Now, this game looks like it can take the place of Dragon Age because I liked the first Dragon Age. I didn't like the second Dragon Age. This game is along the lines of Dragon Age, but it looks like uh, it looks like Capcom has done a better job of incorporating a team effort. Now, see, when I first started, it was just me and this other guy. This demo is really long, by the way. Downloaded it today. It's about uh, 1.4 gigs. But anyway, it just was me and this other guy, but they have this big stone, and you have to uh, uh, analyze it. And after you analyze it, these people just show up out of nowhere. It's like, look, man, we down for the cause. We're going to ride or die with you. And we ended up walking through this ruins, I guess, I guess you could call it. And we're fighting this serpent lion goat like you see right there like we already cut off the snake tail but he has like a goat it's like half lion half goat it's like a goat was um humping this lion and they got fused together because it was just that good of a love making session so we have to deal with this this we have to clean up this mess uh the people that you have fighting with you you don't have to tell them to really do anything you can have commands like uh, help Go. Follow me. Help again. I think you have two buttons for help. But for the most part, they do a really good job of managing themselves. If I'm low on health, somebody will all of a sudden be like, "Look, I'm gonna help. I'm gonna heal you." Uh, there's a lot of teamwork that's involved. Sometimes they'll be like, "Look, I'm gonna throw you up there, and you can grab onto it, so you can start attacking it." Or I'm going to prevent it from using spells with the monster that you're fighting. Or I'm going to hold it down so you can run up to it and beat it. Your moves are very good. I didn't see a dodge button, but there is a sprint. Uh, let me see. There's a uh, light attack, a heavy attack. If you hold down, what is it, R1 or R2 or something, then you can get a special attack that, that is specific to your weapon that you have. This is really good. Really good game. I think I'm going to pick it up. It comes out uh, pretty soon. Uh, it's got to be coming out in May if the damn uh, the demo is out already. But I, I, I could be wrong. Um, but like I said, I put this video on the uh, on a Facebook page for this game a couple days ago. So uh, guys, right now, if you don't, um, if you haven't checked out the Facebook page. I urge you to do so right now. Facebook.com slash Game Caviar. We update news, video, not news, but I mean, not videos daily, but we update news stories daily that deal with video games and technology and some entertainment, but mostly video games and technology. Uh, you can drop us a line, say what's up, I'm a fan, whatever. If you have any questions, any questions, go to the Facebook page, post the question on the Facebook page, and then I personally, me or JBs, will answer them during a video. Uh, the past couple days, we put up a couple videos. I put up a video of me doing insurance fraud on Saints Row the Third, which is an awesome game. And the last video I put up was a uh, what was that? Armor Core Five. I was talking about how a lot of the video game websites that do reviews are lackluster, and they pretty much they suck. But this is just another fight in the game. And the cool thing about this is that you fight with a different, I think it's the same character, but he has a different weapon set. This is pretty cool. And when I get this game, it comes out on May 22nd. Um, I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna end up using this setup right here because this guy has a, a dual dagger and for his secondary weapon, he has a bow and arrow. And that's pretty cool. And a lot of things, a lot of the, the, you know, the people that you have with you, they can cast spells on your weapons. And in this fight, and in the fight before, what they did was they put fire to the weapons so that when we use them, we had a better chance of setting the monster on fire. Now, the graphics in this game look amazing, uh, especially this level. 
What's also amazing about this level is that this, this game has a day and night cycle. While we're fighting this eagle, this big eagle bird serpent, not serpent, but just bird of prey, uh, the day will turn into night because the battle just took that long. And also, while the game is loading, I saw something that said that uh, if you have to travel a long journey, it's best for you to do it all during the day. So, from what I took from that is that the different time of day will affect what monsters you uh, encounter during your journey. And I'm guessing, see right there, they're saying, look, if you run up on me, I will, uh, if you come to me, I will throw you up on the, the bird and then you can go attack it from there. I couldn't really quite get that down. And I'll, I'm going to keep trying it. But uh, this is really good. I like the mechanics of the game. I like the, the, the fluidness of the characters. I like the, the environments look pretty realistic. I didn't see any type of graphical uh, um, errors or anything like that. Pretty much this game is, is it might be a day one buy, to be honest with you, because I'm looking for one of these, I, I, like I said, I need a game to replace Dragon Age 2. Dragon Age 2 was good, but it didn't, it didn't surpass the first Dragon Age to me, so I didn't really like that game as much as I thought I would, but I do think that I'm going to like this game a lot better. And I, um, this game in Kings of Amalar, I played that demo, but I never picked that game up. That's also a good game uh, for anybody who has um, who hasn't checked out that game. But this game, really, for it to be coming out uh, next month, late next month, it really looks like it's going to be a day one buy for me. The music is amazing. It goes along with the battle. And when you're really in the thick of the battle, the music gets really, it's, it's, it's um, uh, an orchestra that provides the soundtrack to the game and it gets more intense the more you battle so that really fits with the mood of the time of the video game depending on what you're doing uh let's see here uh let me see graphics the the people they talk to each other and they tell you things see right here i'm giving my uh my crew the help i'm telling them to help me out because i was about to die and somebody came and healed me and also one thing that I like is that if your players somehow get to where they're unconscious, they don't die. What happens is they just lay down and you have to go over there and, and help them up. Which is good because you have the opportunity to keep your team at full strength so you can have a better chance of completing your objectives. I like that. That's something that Dragon Eggs didn't do. If your person just, if they got knocked unconscious, they were just down for the fight. And you really couldn't uh, revive them unless you had some sort of spell, I believe, or something like that. Anyway, this is more convenient. It happened in this fight when the when the bird took off and flew away and did a circle, as it, it's done many times. It did many times during this battle. I was able to go and pick up my two. See, I'm about to do it right now. I was able to go and aid my two people so they can stay in the fight. That's amazing. I like that aspect of the game. It keeps your team strong. It keeps the fight going. And everything seems to come together very well in this game. I'm going to uh, play around with this demo a, a little bit more. I also have Prototype 2 that I just picked up. I'm going to start that tonight. I'm going to put up a video of that along with this one. I had to do this video first. Not to get it out of the way, but because i didn't want to have to render two videos at the same time so i played this one first just to play through the demo and check it out and check out the game the game is so amazing i figured i'd make a video of it and show you guys but anyway uh please like comment subscribe to the channel we're still rolling trying to get a thousand subscribers by the end of the year we have just under 450 guys i need your help to get game caviar over that hump of uh, a thousand people you know help us reach our goal by the end of the year that's all i'm asking it's free and we have a lot of good content on the channel so please if you could help us out by subscribing and spreading the word i'm not having it in the game caviar studios and i'm out